स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रेजेंट वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट इलेवंथ प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम ट्रिपल कॉलम कैश बुक चैप्टर आई एम टेकिंग दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम तेलंगाना स्टेट तेलु अकाडमी इंटर फर्स्ट ईयर अकाउंटेंसी टेस्ट बुक बट दिस वीडियो इज यूजफुल टू ऑल कॉमर्स स्टूडेंट्स हू वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट दिस टॉपिक क्वेश्चन इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्रीवियस वीडियो लिंक्स आर ऑल्सो अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स लेट अस स्टार्ट द प्रॉब्लम Prepare three column cash book of Ravi Traders from the following particulars. First is September two thousand eighteen cash balance fifteen thousand rupees. This is opening cash balance. So opening cash balance is an asset. Asset shows debit balance. Therefore, David said we have to write this amount. First September two thousand eighteen. For opening balance, we have to write two balance brought up in cash column. Fifteen thousand rupees. Next line. Date is not given. Means same date. Bank balance in brackets. Credit is given. See here. Bank balance credit means bank overdraft balance. Means firm has taken loan from the bank. Firm is liable to bank. As this is a liability, we have to show on credit side because liability shows a credit balance. Same date. Credit side with buy we should start. This is opening balance, no. Therefore, write down balance brought down in bank column twenty five thousand rupees. From fourth date onwards, transactions are given. First two are opening balances, remaining are transactions. To record transactions in triple column cash book, there are two methods. One is journal entries method. Second one, shortcut method. So in present problem, shortcut method I am going to explain. According to that method, we are firm. Because of any transaction, if cash is coming into the firm, debit side cash column, we should write that amount. So from the firm, if cash is going, then credit side cash column, we should write. Come to bank columns. Two bank columns we have: debit bank column, credit bank column. Because of a bank transaction, if our bank balance is increasing, debit side bank column, we should write that amount. If bank balance is decreasing, credit said bank column we should write. Fourth date, received cash from Bhaskar three thousand nine hundred in full settlement of his account four thousand rupees. So from Bhaskar, firm has to receive four thousand rupees in full settlement. Bhaskar is paying three thousand nine hundred. Then the difference is four thousand minus three thousand nine hundred is discount allowed. Hundred rupees. So remember, in full settlement of, if this sentence is given, then the meaning is indirectly discount is given in that transaction. So cash is coming from Bhaskar, therefore debit side. Fourth date to Bhaskar account in discount column hundred rupees, and three thousand nine hundred cash is coming from him in cash column right on the account. So. Four thousand rupees. We should not write anywhere. Next sixth date. Goods sold to Prakash for cash two thousand eight hundred rupees. Firm is selling goods to Prakash for cash. So from the firm goods are going, and from Prakash, from customer cash is coming. As cash is coming, baby said it appears. Sixth date. Goods are sold now. Therefore write down to sales account. We sold these goods for two thousand eight hundred rupees. Write down that. Prakash name we should not write here because this is cash sale. In case of cash sale, customer's name is not necessary. The seventh date, interest paid five hundred rupees. So firm has taken loan on that. Firm is paying interest. So from the firm cash is going. Therefore credit side. By expenditure name we should write. Interest. You need not to write interest paid word. Interest account is enough. Cash is going from the firm. Therefore, credit side cash column right on the amount. Tenth date. Received from Karthik Traders cash eighteen hundred rupees. Check four thousand eight hundred rupees. Discount allowed four hundred rupees. In brackets, check sent to bank. So from Karthik Traders cash is coming. When cash is coming, David said cash column no. In date column tenth, 
from Karthik traders we are receiving. Therefore, write down two Karthik traders. Discount allowed four hundred rupees. Cash eighteen hundred rupees. And check is also coming. Check amount four thousand eight hundred. When check is coming, we should observe one point. That is, this check is deposited into our bank on the same day or other day. In question is giving that on the same day bank check is deposited into bank. So our assumption is on the same day our bank collected money and it is deposited in our account. Bank balance is increasing on the same day. Therefore, directly in bank column write down this check amount. Suppose check is not sent to bank on the same day, then when check is coming and not deposited into bank on the same day, then we should assume that cash is coming. So original cash eighteen hundred. Plus check amount four thousand eight hundred total in cash column we should write six thousand six hundred directly in cash column we should write. But here check is sent to bank on the same day, therefore check value in bank column, cash in cash column and discount. Next fourteenth date cash deposited into bank four thousand rupees. When cash is deposited into bank or When cash is withdrawn from bank, these two are contra entries. Contra entries, two sides we should write. So the steps are: first, amount column we should fill. Fourteenth day, cash deposited into bank. We are running firm. We are paying money into the bank. Cash is going. When cash is going, where is said cash column? It should be recorded. Four thousand rupees. This is contra entry, no? Write down C. And we are depositing money into bank account. So because of this transaction, bank balance increases. When bank balance increases, David said bank column we should write that same amount four thousand rupees. As this is contra entry, here write down C. Now two sides write down the date fourteenth. Come to particular column. We wrote amount in bank column. Therefore we have to write cash. To cash account. If you write amount in cash column, you have to write to bank account. Credit side. We are writing amount in cash column, no? Therefore, write down by bank account. If you write amount in bank column, here you have to write by cash account. Contra entry completed. Sixteenth day. Purchased goods from Chaitanya and payment made through Paytm two thousand five hundred. So Chaitanya is a supplier. From that supplier, firm is buying goods. We have to pay the money. Instead of paying money in cash, we paid that amount through Paytm. So what happens? From our bank account, money will get transferred to Chaitanya's bank account. So in this transaction, cash is not going from the firm. Therefore, don't write in cash column. But bank balance is decreasing. Because from our account money is transferred to Chaitanya's bank account, so our bank balance is decreasing. Therefore, credit side bank column we should write date sixteenth by purchased goods from Chaitanya. Don't write Chaitanya here because in case of cash purchases we should not write supplier's name. When goods are purchased, we should write purchases word amount. Two thousand five hundred rupees. Last one, twenty-four. Issued check to Manohar. Discount received. Issuing means giving. So firm has to pay money to Manohar. How much? Three thousand rupees. So in full settlement, firm is issuing a check worth two thousand eight hundred. So two hundred is discount to us. Manohar goes to our bank and he takes the money. So bank balance is decreasing. Therefore, credit side bank column check value two thousand eight hundred and discount amount two hundred. In particular column, issued check to Manohar. So supplier's name we should write Manohar account twenty fourth date. So all transactions we have posted in cash book. Finally, we have to calculate the balances for three amount columns: discount, cash, and bank. Draw two lines like this. 
discount columns we should not balance we have to put the totals debit total 500 rupees credit 200 cash column and bank column we have to balance in case of cash column always debit total should be more than credit total because on debit side cash receipts we are writing on credit side cash payments so how much we receive from that time only we pay therefore receipt should be more payment should be less cash column debit side total is 23500 and the credit total is 4500 so debit total is more than credit total difference is 19000 this is balancing figure we said we should write where the total is less that said we should write credit side total is less so credit side in cash column write down 19000 rupees for this date should be last date of the month in september month last date is 30 for answer we have to write by balance carried down two sets put the totals debit side total 23500 credit side we wrote the difference now now if you add these three amounts same total comes 23500 now credit side answer came next month we have to carry forward that answer on debit side so date should be next date of this 1st october 2018 we are bringing this balance now therefore write down to balance brought down in cash column balancing figure 19000 rupees for bank column also do the same debit total is less credit total is more so in rough notes first credit total we should calculate credit total is 30300 debit total is 8800 credit total is more so the difference is 21500 rupees we said we should write this amount where the total is less that side so debit total is less debit side 21500 rupees in bank column this is our answer for answer date should be last date of the month in september month last date is 30 for answer always we should write balance carried down two sets put the totals credit total 30300 rupees debit side as we wrote the difference if you add this three amount same total comes 30300 rupees now debit side balance carried down came for next month you have to carry forward this amount on credit side so date should be next immediate date of this date 1st october 2018 we are bringing the balance now therefore you should write by balance brought down in bank column 21500 rupees so this is all about 11th problem from triple column cash book topic hope this video is helpful to you thank you